in this video we are talking about the amocytous larvae the larval form of petromyosin so this is petromyosin which comes under cyclostomata so this is the larva which is look like resembles amphioxus so this is amphioxus which comes under the subphylum cephalopodata this comes under cyclostomata so both morphologically both are similar in structure so what are the uh, morphological characters is the body is thin laterally compressed that is a continuous median continuous median uh, fin are present which is differentiated into dorsal caudal and fin caudal and anal fins there is presence of an unconstricted notochord which is the primitive characters actually it comes under the subphylum vertebrata so the notochord is replaced by the vertebral column but the, in the larva the notochord still persistent what are the other characters mouth with the lower and upper lid or upper lips are present and there is an oral hood is present the pharynx is ciliated and seven pairs of gills are there one two three four five six seven pairs of gills are there the pharynx is provided with the endosterm epipharyngeal groups and peripharyngeal bands are also present so you see a structure here this is called a velum which is a place the buccal cavity and the pharynx so there is a straight elementary canal provided with the gallbladder liver bile duct etc there is a pronephric kidney which is a primitive kidney and there is the presence of a ventral heart so there is a paired lateral isa there so this is the eye spot or lateral isa there which is actually rudimentary or functionless it's not a ciliary feeder but a filter feeder the water current is created not by the ciliary actions but by the muscular actions how long it lives the lifespan is almost about to three to seven years the larval lifespan is about to three to seven years so normally when the adult is about to lay its lay lay its eggs either it moves to the bank of the sea or move to the uh, freshwater rivers where it lays the eggs after hatching the larva burrows in the sand and leads a sedentary life up to three to seven years so earlier the scientists were thought that these two organs its larvae and its adult are uh, thought to be different organs and those two are they are not related to each other but after many years the scientists discovered actually the homocytous larvae is actually the larval forms of petromyosins so lifespan is about to three to seven years it exhibit the larvae exhibit photokinesis that responds towards light and pigmotaxis means what response to touch burrows in soft river sand and spends three to seven years of sedentary life so after the three to seven years of seven years of uh, sedentary life it undergoes radical remodeling and metamorphosis into a adult petromyosin. So what are the changes? The oral hood forms into a round buccal funnel, this one with the horny teeth. The fin differentiated into earlier the fin is a is a common one. There is no differentiation. Now it is differentiated into dorsal, caudal and anal fins. Lateral eyes become functional. Earlier it was rudimentary. Velum reduced to rudiment. There is a in larva there is a separation into buccal cavity and uh, pharynx but it is reduced endostyle is present endostyle is a actually related to feeding but in the adult it converted to a thyroid gland which much more hormonal in functions the gallbladder disappears and liver separates from the endostains the prone of kidney becomes a meson of the kidney and gradually as transformation happens the larva becomes the adult and is about to migrate to back to the sea again 
And what are the affinities with the cephalocodate? The Amositis larva shows many characters that resemble Amphioxus. That's the cephalocodate. What are the main characters? Is presence of notochord, oral hood is the gill slits are present, endostyles, and mode of feeding is also same as filter feeding. Filter feeding. So this characters resembles what resembles these characters resembles with the cephalocodic characters this is cephalocodate is already said one is this is of continuous unconstricted protocol segmented musculature seven pairs of gill slits straight and ciliated elementary canal without any specialization larval endostyle is similar to that of amphioxus absence of gonotacts and also the Amocetus larvae, the organization of Amocetus larvae is very closely similar to the Amphioxus in the presence of gill slays, ciliated pharynx, endostyle, epipharynx group, peripharynx groups, microphagus feeding, etc. But cyclostome shows remarkable advancement over cephalocodage with a distinct head, brain and cartilaginous cranium which is absent in Amphioxus. There is the presence of rudimentary vertebrae are present, multilayered epidermis, definite liver is there, true kidneys are present, eyes are and internal ears, sympathetic nervous system. All these characters are not seen in the amphioxus or cephalocodate. So they put it right. So they put it in.